this is the initial transformation to give the ANOVA coat protected particle. We can then take this a stage further and introduce malayamide groups into the surface coat. Now this can be used with uh, FAB prime fragments or expressed antibody fragments which often have a terminal cysteine introduced for conjugation purposes or it can be used with any, any other thiolated substance. Now to generate some data with this material we've taken an antibody, digested it with papain which cuts across here to give uh, FAB2 the FC domain is shown here. Then we've reduced this material into the two FAB fragments. Then we've taken a portion of this mixture and actually blocked the sulfhydrals. So effectively we've got FAB again without any sulfhydral uh, groups. So there's no malayamide reactivity of this material. And then this is Data with, again, the Inova Coat Gold with the protective surface, coupled, coupled either to FAB prime with the thiol, or with the block thiol, which is effectively FAB. And you can see signal versus analyte concentration in the lateral flow test. We get a greater signal with the oriented fragment as opposed to the, the fragment that's uh, randomly oriented. Now, fragments are not necessarily binding in a totally random fashion. On occasions you may get uh, no reactivity at all if you've got a particularly uh, unfavorable orientation uh, when you're coupling through lysines. So with different antibodies you may see a different fold enhancement. But this just shows with identical fragments apart from the presence or absence of a cysteine you can get better performance by orienting the antibody. And if you look in the scientific literature, the uh, fold improvement can be anything from 10 to 100 fold, uh, depending on the circumstances. Okay, I'm just going to finish with, um, with a mention of prior day activation um, of antibodies for oriented labeling. This, this technique is not used very often, but it, it really is fantastic, so I just wanted to highlight it. So remember I said there were carbohydrate chains on this part of the FC domain. These chains react readily with sodium pyridate, and you can convert the chains into uh, sugar chains with aldehyde groups. The orange blobs are the aldehydes and these groups will react readily with hydrazide labels. So um, quite a few of these labels are now commercially available. And it's a great way of getting, if you have any issues with loss of affinity, reactions with lysines in this area, this is another method of uh, doing site-directed modification uh, in this region here using hydrazide labels and aldehyde groups.